Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make breakfast casserole. Now here in a skillet, I've got one pound of breakfast sausage, brown and nut, and a chopped onion. You just want to cook your sausage up. I didn't throw my onions in until the sausage was almost cooked thoroughly. And you can use any kind of sausage. Like I said, this is breakfast, mild sausage. You could do hot and spicy, even there's sage seasoned sausage out there. There's, you don't have to use pork sausage. There's uh, chicken sausage now, and the turkey sausage. Or if you don't want to do a meat, then saute a lot of veggies. You can also use a pound of ground pork and put some sausage seasoning in here to make it breakfast sausage. You can also use bacon. But if your sausage puts out a lot of grease, you might want to drain that. Next, we got a casserole dish here, and I've already sprayed it, and we're going to put some bread in here. You want about 10 slices, and I'm just going to break, break that up, put down here in the casserole dish. You can use any kind of bread you want. I use different odds and ends of bread that I needed to use up. We have some hot dog buns, and then just regular sandwich white bread. We're going to pour our sausage and onions over top of this. We're going to put some chopped bell pepper, and I had red in my fridge. Use any color you want or any kind of veggie you want. Now we have an 8 ounce pack of sliced button mushrooms. And then I'm going to come in here with my hands and toss this. All of the bread and the sausage. Okay, we got a dozen eggs in the bowl. We're going to put about a half a tablespoon of ground mustard. I know that's weird, but trust me, it's good. A teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, salt and pepper to taste, and then we're just going to whisk it. We're going to put some milk and some heavy whipping cream in here too. I just want to get my yolks busted and started first. One cup of heavy whipping cream. Now, if you want to use all milk, you can. And one and a half cups of milk. We're going to put about a cup of shredded cheddar cheese in the egg milk mixture. And then we'll save, or save some for sprinkling over the top. About a cup sprinkled over the top of the casserole. We're going to pour our egg mixture evenly over the casserole. We're going to press it with our spatula down to get all that bread moistened. Then we're going to come with about a cup of more cheese. Use as much as you would like. Now you want to let this casserole sit before you pop it up in at least about 30 minutes. It's better overnight. I mean, you could do this at uh, put this together the night before, cover it with some saran wrap, stick it in the fridge, let it go soak up all the goodness overnight. The bread will soak up all the goodness and then bring it out. Pull off your saran wrap, let your dish get to room temperature so you won't bust your casserole dish. About a good 30 minutes and then pop it in the oven and bake it. But we're just going to let it sit for 30 minutes because I don't have the time. Okay, my casserole has set for 30 minutes to soak up all the milk and egg mixture. So into the oven it goes. Preheated 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes to an hour. Alright, our breakfast casserole came out of the oven and it took an hour. You just want to make sure the egg mixture is done. Cut it into slices or serve it with a big serving spoon. You can dish it out with a serving spoon or cut it into slices, however you want to serve it. Um, it's going to puff up and as it cools a little bit, before you start cutting on it, let it cool at least 10 minutes and it's going to deflate a little bit. But there you have it, breakfast casserole. And you can put any kind of meats or veggies or whatever you want into it. 